Ooh. Hi, Capricorn. It's Lulu, and guess who's back? The big girls, okay? So let's see what they're going to say for y'all. So far, so good. They've been doing pretty, pretty interesting here today. Um, keeping with um, a storyline, I guess, because oftentimes, y'all know the vibes. I'm reading these more so than any of the other uh, cards. I read them crisscross applesauce all types of different ways because all stuff all types of stuff do come up in them but let's see here what do you have here for capricorn there we go look at that uh doors of opportunity will be open and i really do feel all right you are in the upright queen of king of pentacles in the upright heart chakra in the upright caring connections in the upright Yin and Yang in the upright. Door to Romance in the upright. Adjacent Possibilities in the upright. Queen of Pentacles under Yin and Yang. Okay, in the upright. Broken Heart under Door to Romance. And Envy in the Reverse under Options. All right. So it started out pretty good and it started flipping up toward the end, but that's fine because we look for what the issue is and try to bring a solution to the issue tissue. Okay. All right. So first and foremost, you may have had a new job or you are working on what it is that you want and also incorporating love in your life as well, but try not to put, bring the outside world into your energy and to inter allowing it to interfere with your relationship. You see. You may um, have gone on some type of date or vacation, some type of trip with someone here. But overall, what I'm getting with this man holding the coin, this heart chakra and this caring connection, something just it, you can't get away from it. Whatever this feeling is, whatever this, you know, thought is, there may be a lot of um, dreams being had here as well. Something about the ocean, a lot of dreams being had. And then you have this balance, this master number 22 coming in. Because with the king, it's it's falling between the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, which I think that is y'all balancing out your own yin and yang to keep yourself from hurting because your divine feminine may be in a lot of pain, have went through a number of things because you didn't know how to incorporate. Let me turn on you right here. Let me turn this way for you. You didn't know how to incorporate that balance in a way that it, the masculine energy, the, the divine masculine within protects the divine feminine see and so what happened was um what what happened is it caused an imbalance and you finally figured it out whatever it is that you, whoever it is that you have met recently or people that are close to you that help you to come to this realization now you know exactly what it is and what's a no and what's a go you have a number of options available to you a lot of people may be jealous we're not gonna worry about the envy okay because envy in the upright would be um you know green eyes going around but also envy in the upright is also um you looking out at what what everybody else has and not being appreciative of what it is that you have right looking at how the streets are paved with gold and you got pearls and diamonds and uh, swords and rubies in your hand in the reverse though someone needs to see things from a different perspective when it comes to the options that they have you may even be in a space where you have a, um, opportunities open to you. there's a gymnasium um a doctor's office there's a um a decision that you need to make right and you need to be mindful of who you ask what when it comes to what decision you should make okay I always have someone on your team that you can consider wise counsel right and don't run off the wise counsel by acting like you already know something do not do that shit right respect the game respect you know the um the authority figure let's say it like that Especially when it comes to, you know, keeping people around that are valuable. Because someone like that will be very valuable. All right. So let's start clarifying. <clears throat> there may even be someone that you work with that is um, a love interest. And you find out some things that really put you in a space of wanting to move forward with this person. 
There's also uh, here with this heart chakra, some type of compassion, forgiveness that needs to happen with either with yourself or this other person. But you do have very, very good partnerships coming through. And I feel like it's, it's floating in. This may be a carnival cruise, some type, not a carnival, um, but any type of cruise, really. I don't want to name names, but this could be any type of cruise. Um, the secret's out. So somebody is going public with their relationship. The secret's out. This is um, looking like a love read to me, like seriously. Um Someone may even be in a space there between the two of you. Someone has um, people around them that want them to pick somebody else or agree to be in a partnership with someone else. I'm telling you, it's either you or some uh, another person. You know what I mean? What is this man holding a coin here for? Yeah, for something stink. Something stink. Bad. All right. What is this man holding a coin here for? Capricorn is like we don't know who it is. The nine of swords, you may have some type of worry or stress about, you know, your work situation or what it is that needs to um, be handled. You may, your your energy may even be up as well. And if you think about it, this little outfit that this man has on would say that, you know, maybe does he, he he's, you know, going through something on that day right there. Okay. He think he a knight for real, a, a king, and he going back to his night days. Okay. Maybe used to moonlight. Be a jigger hoe, low. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you may have went bare knuckles, barefoot, bare, bare, bare. Oh. All right. In a situation that's kind of stressing you out, trying to figure out what is going on, like something may be worrying, worrying you. And it's to the point where you may even have a piece of jewelry that is connected to. You may have something that happened to your ring finger that is connected to. Okay, something keeping you up at night. Let me see. What is this fourth chakra here for Capricorn? This heart chakra. Look at the temperance. Finding that yin and that yang, that balance and that thing, okay? Maybe even apologizing or learning how to transmute certain energies, especially if you are going through this nine of swords energy where it's like you're picking up everything, you're hearing everything, you're seeing everything, you're talking to yourself and having full-on conversations about certain things that come up in your mind where to the point where you can't enjoy the moment. You can't enjoy what's really good, what's really going on. With this temperance card, I really do feel like um, that has a lot to do, possibly with a Sagittarius, but it has a lot to do with the way that you balance out your give and take, the way that you balance out you know, um, your compassion, being more compassionate with the self so that you can bring in this caring connection or become closer to the people who are there and around you temperance is a major arcana it's a major bit to do okay but this can also be you know blending right you take on a lot of things and people don't know how many how much you actually take on right so maybe you were the wise counsel that i was talking about earlier where you know sometimes people don't value wise counsel right they think that it's just something that should be at their fingertips and now you are learning how to maneuver between filling your cup and and, and pouring your cup fill it or pour it pour it and fill it and it kind of goes into this infinity um type thing mm, okay Thank you. All right, let's keep it going. Because I'm really liking this energy. And I'm trying to make sure that I balance out the energy these girls are coming with. Because these girls is coming with the energy today. Like, for real, what's up? What is this caring connection? They ain't been, they ain't been on, you know, YouTube in a long time. Maybe they excited or something. I need to talk to them, don't it? Ciao. Let's say, girl, where you been? Baby, where y'all been? This is caring connections for my beautiful Capricorn. Hey, the Cubs, look at you. Thinking it never will happen or overthinking romance, overthinking relationships, overthinking your connection with certain people. You're overthinking it. So maybe this is going to be a couple of weeks or a day or two. Who knows about you? But with this Eight of Cups, this has a lot to do with you missing, feeling like you missed an opportunity. Look at him. Set long and think, what is it? Think long, think wrong. That may be inner child wounding that has you to feel like you always miss out on certain opportunities when it comes to partnerships, caring connections, matters of the heart. That's the lover's card, they're caring connections, right? Thinking about or contemplating um, if you want to walk away, possibly. I don't think so. I think that you're sitting and waiting and feeling like, you know, the the you know what? I don't know. Maybe this is one person. Someone feels like. Um, they're just waiting for the right time, the right person, and 
Uh, you know how people be like, and um, they gonna come to me. Well, how they gonna come to you if you in the house? How they gonna come to you if you always working and ain't making yourself approachable and, and ready? How they gonna come to you when you ain't, you know, taking your self-care breaks and shit like that? How they, ain't gonna, how they gonna come to you you're not making yourself available? Well, I go places and I do things and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, but are you going places where single people be? Or, you know, single people? Because you just never know. Are you going places with single people be? But it's like waiting for the right opportunity to, um, but see what I mean? The comment that Haley's comment is back there. And I remember the last time Haley's comment came out, I think I was just a little girl. So I don't know if I'm be, be around when they come, when Haley come back around. Okay. It was a big to do, but it's like, you're sitting back here and trying to, you're waiting for, you're waiting for something to just come out of nowhere, appear out of nowhere, present itself out of nowhere, but you have to be on guard. I mean, on alert, you know, you're just sitting here watching TV, trying to figure it out. Some of y'all are in relationships though. All right, what is this yin and yang here? As if we don't know, that's grounded and balanced energy. Yeah, that's you, four, four pinnacles, that's you. Very standoffish, but also very much so keep it to yourself, right? Um, learning again, because you're going through a transition with this uh, temperance card and that heart chakra. You went through a lot in your life, right? And um, you're really learning and sometimes you realize that you are learning the same thing over and over again. It's just different levels of that same thing. Different things are revealed to you the more that you show up for yourself and the more that you say yes to your process. With this Four of Pentacles and this Yin and Yang, I really do feel as though you're feeling more confident, more like yourself, right? Some of you may even be in a space where you feel immortal, all right? Don't do too much, hope. Don't be walking out there, and I'm telling you right now, especially sea goats. Don't stand at four-way sections, cross-sections, too close to the curve. Because you're in an energy that you think you're invincible. Okay? Don't stand like that. Because sometimes people don't see certain, certain spiritual people are invisible to certain people. So they will, you know, get hit. Like, if you don't know the... the uh, We got to talk about it one day, I guess. The, the reality... And most most y'all know it. Go Google it. The reality that exists at crosswalks, crossroads, right? Four-way stop signs, four-way splits. Wherever it is that there's always, you know, that there's a possibility for confusion. There's a huge possibility. Everybody got a different way to go. And everybody is not going to be on their toes, you know? All right, let's get through it. What is this uh, romance, door to romance? The sun card. Something is happening. I don't know. This is a new beginning in love for you. A new beginning that you were not even expecting because you really were in a space where you had your guards up, right? You just were like, I don't think that anything, like this could be a job, partnership, right? But this is something that's coming in that's very warm. It's very, it embraces you. You embrace it. It's very welcoming, right? It's healthy. This is a healthy connection, but you still have options, right? So this may be a number of deals on the table. Then you got the Hierophant. This may be a number of deals on the table. So you have to really get together and see what is what. This may be that wise counsel or this may, yeah, three of cups. You got to figure out which one is the holy grail. Which one is uh, the one that needs to be brought to the forefront. Which one is worth your time, effort, and attention. Because they're all very much so um, fruitful. All you can multiply on any level with any of these cups. But it's like, no, I need this certain thing done. This certain thing tended to. This certain thing done in... A certain type of way in collaboration with what I have going on. It's something like that. I could be tripped out. Go watch your other signs. All right. Now, what is this uh queen um woman holding a coin here for Capricorns? Two of Cups. I told you it's the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with. This is a strong connection. This is uh genetics, right? Y'all may have been some type of some kin. Here, y'all may have been kin to one another back in a previous lifetime. It could even be that the way that y'all intertwine, the way that y'all just get each other, the way that there are certain things that happen after 6 p.m. It's This is a nighttime situation, and I hope it's not no creepy sneak only at night, but I do get here with this in reverse, right? This is the um, Two of Cups in the reverse. So this has a lot to do with a lot of information being revealed, a lot of esoteric information, a lot of esoteric connections happen during the night. That's why I don't go outside at night. And I don't be having time to talk to just know anybody late at night. 
You only got a, a little time to shine. And then I, that's going to be about it. I be goddamn. I know what go on at night. Y'all don't know this. All right, what is this broken heart? Cause who heart broke though? This is mending broken broke. This is mending that. What is this broken heart? Somebody is crying about it. The six of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody that you may have turned your back on because it wasn't fruitful, it wasn't balanced, it wasn't something that you could see yourself indulging in. They crying. Okay, somebody is hurt about something that didn't work out or balance. It could be that one of these options, because I can see it that way as well. One of these options didn't work out, weren't balanced, weren't um in a in a space. Yeah, justice. I mean, the high priest is in the reverse, failing to see something. So somebody's heart is broken because they failed to see something, failed to see an opportunity, failed to listen to their higher um, awareness, their higher guidance. They start plead, all right, which is this envy in the reverse. So what is this envy in reverse for Capricorn? There it is, the Eight of Cups in the upright. It is what it is. It's like you you figure out that it is what it is. May as well move forward because ain't nothing behind me, right? So may as well move forward. What do I really want? I may have missed an opportunity. So you just want to be on your P's and Q's, what we discussed earlier in this read. Be on your P's and Q's and try to be as balanced and, and so present and aware to the point where you, your, your um, star player, right? Your spiritual GPS does not lead you wrong, does not lead you astray, does not lead you in the dark so that you have to walk away in this way. All right. Talk to you.